Mr. Biden has run his entire political campaign for 50 years as the family man. Well, I've got news for you, sir. The curtain has been lifting, and that campaign slogan will never work again. We have seen what's going on in your family, and even worse, we've seen how you've been treating us as Gold Star families. And there couldn't be anything more disgusting and cowardly than the way you have treated us. You are a disgrace to this nation. You have no business having ultimate command over our military, and I regret not saying that to your face when I had the opportunity in Dover. I felt it more, like, more important to bite my tongue, but I also had more important things on my mind at that time, like receiving my son's lifeless body stateside. While well, I stood there on the tarmac, watching you check your watch over and over again, all I wanted to do was shout out, it's 2 fucking 30, asshole. But out of respect to the other grieving families, I bit my tongue once again. Well, as you could probably tell by now, I'm done biting my tongue. You, sir, stole their lives, their futures, their dreams, and have ripped apart 13 families. You cannot even man up and admit that. You, sir, gave us all the title Gold Star Family. You, sir, discredit honor and integrity. Two years later, there are things I find myself thinking about. Where and what was Biden's logic sneaking out of Bagram in the middle of the night before ever getting a single Afghan partner or American civilian out? <clears throat> this is the purest definition of intel inter intentional negligence. This is just one of many irresponsible and negligent decisions coming from the White House. In addition, leaving behind billions of dollars of our finest military hardware has led to the biggest international free black market, free market in history. Unfortunately, this will undoubtedly lead to more American military lives lost in the future. Between what has happened, been happening here domestically, for example, the border over the last two and a half years, and all your failed foreign policy decisions, I would venture a guess that you have more American blood on your hands Mr. Biden than any president in U.S. history. While in Florida, I was approached by a CIA operative who connected me with several more operatives on a secure phone call. I was told if the Pentagon, DOD, and state or state tries to tell you that they had no idea Afghanistan would collapse so fast after a withdrawal, they are completely and utterly full of shit. They kept telling me to follow Bagram, so I did, and so I have. Closing Bagram was the sole responsibility of Joe Biden. It was also the lead domino which led to the demise of all of Afghanistan. Its women, its children, 170 Afghans, 13 American servicemen, and for what? I can't sit here and say, as a parent myself, um, that I understand what these families are going through having lost their children. But I can say I can only imagine. And... The part that you can tell is just so hard for them to swallow, so hard for them to even move through their grieving process, is the fact that Biden and his administration is saying that Afghan was a, su a success. I mean, that's, that's so insensitive. That, that is just so not true. And when he said how, uh, I don't know who it was, the FBI, the CIA, who it is, came to the families and said, um, and shared about the investigation, the families couldn't even take anything that they said to them because it was so quick and no accountability was being held under uh, the Biden administration or Biden himself. No one was taking accountability on what went wrong when those Americans died. No one was taking accountability on the different options that they had and chose not to take as, as the Gold Star Dad was, was sharing. No accountability has been taken for what happened to their children in Afghan. That's just disgusting and hard to even swallow. And the thing that the thing that doesn't make sense is at the end when the when the gold star dad said he has a list of things that he is going to share on things he's going to continue to fight for 
And every single thing that the father listed is every single thing that should be under this invest investigation that these people should be getting interviewed. Why does it take a gold star dad to want to push those things? It should be the people in charge in government to see what happened and hold people accountable that, that allowed those Americans to die.